Hey, welcome back. I just wanted to go over a few things here today. First off, I wanted to just say thank you to all my customers buying honey. I, I, I can't thank you enough. I've been going to the farmer's market and everyone's been real supportive. And I wanted to let you know I'm working real hard here. I'm trying to get more supply for the markets and just in general, be able to offer more. Today, I'm, I'm getting, well, I got most of this woodwork all done. Actually, I got it all done. I'm gonna be dipping it in the, the eco wood to try to preserve it a little bit. But we got a lot of stuff accomplished. And I don't know if my math was wrong or I split too many bees or who knows, but I was out of equipment and um, normally winter times to do, winter time is when you do all the wooden wear, but getting it done. I'm gonna take us all down to the remote cabin apiary. We're all set here at the home yard for equipment, but this is all heading down. We got 10 boxes, 12 lids, three extra bottoms, and then I did make some stands here. I'll go ahead and give you a close up so you can check it out. Here's all the tops. Now I do have to put, I always run insulation in the, in the tops. I'm gonna try something different this year. I've always gotten the foam board and I put that in there, I measure it out, but I've had ant problems. And I kind of thought about my house, you know, when I did that. And I, I use rock wool or sometimes it's called mineral insulation. So I'm gonna try that. Instead of just fighting with the ants, I'm gonna try something new. And follow along this season and I'll keep you updated. Here's some stands that I built here. I got two of them done. I love these things. I use them, I'll put bees on them or whatever, but I also use them when I'm doing the inspection. That way I'm not sitting stuff on the ground. It's up off the ground. The bees seem to be a lot calmer. They're protected because they're inside of a box. And here's some bottom boards. I have a few videos on how I make those. And then here's the lids. They're pretty simple, you know. Don't judge me on my woodworking ability. I mean, I'm okay, but uh, there's others out there that are better. I just need to get a lid, get some decent insulation on the top, and, uh, you know, help the bees out with the weather extremes, either hot or cold. So I'm about ready to dip all this and I'll start the video back up when I start putting this insulation in there and we'll see how it goes. And I know I had a few, a few comments in some videos before they were asking, you know, how's the eco wood holding up? I've never painted my boxes, so I do have boxes out there that are I do have boxes out there that are just not painted or anything. And compared to the eco wood, I don't think I have a box out there that's more than when I started this eco wood, maybe eight years old. So it's a little too early to tell. Just so far, so good but all my hives are, they're up off the ground pretty good. And 
I do have, I do run telescoping lids, so I do have that extra protection. But so far so good, but I'll keep you updated and we'll see. All right, well, I'll be back when I start to put this insulation in and we'll load up and head on down to the cabin apiary. Well, we're back here. I got everything, uh, all put through the eco wood and we're ready to go. I got to brand everything still, but now we're, now we're onto this, this insulation. And, uh, this is that rock wool and here's my lids and, you know, somehow I, I got lucky. But with my eight frame boxes, they're 14 inches wide and these are exactly 16. Well, this, this mineral wool or rock wool, it's, uh, you know, set up for 16 inch center on your studs. So it's going to fit perfect. I have a old bread knife here and this is how you cut this rock wool. This one specifically is from the Great Harvest Bread Company in Anchorage, Alaska. Got this a long time ago. I don't cut bread with it anymore, but I do use it for insulation. So, let's see what we can do. Oh, it's got a friction fit. Won't even have to do anything. And as I was saying earlier, let me get the close up of this. Looks really good. Well, <laughs> I always use the foam board and the ants would get in there and just chew it up. And I just wanted to try something new and I think this is gonna work real good now. It is gonna compress a little, but not much. And I think that that'll really help out with keeping the bees cool when it's hot out and keeping the bees warm when it's cold out. Good insulated top. I always run insulated tops on everything. So I'm gonna get to it here, you know, I'm sure I'm not the first person to think of this, but I don't think I've ever seen it before. So I thought I'd put it out there. And like I said, I gotta, I gotta test it out. But, but what, what I see right now, you know, I'm happy with. We'll just give it a little time and I'll make sure I report back. But as of right now, this is looking really nice. So we're gonna get through a stack of them here. Getting the bees out of the small nucleus colonies and putting them in some real A-frame boxes. And then I also have to stack some honey supers on there on the big ones, so. Hey, this just a final check in here. I got all that stuff built and I, I wanted to kind of explain a little bit more. So here's the stands. Like I said, I use these for everything. And uh, here's the bottom boards I make. They fit right on top. And with these lids, I kind of wanted to go over so they got a small entrance up front. You got your frames in here. And then the bees don't have access to the insulation. And that's why the ants 
would get up there and start chewing away the insulation. I use uh, just this cloth top, natural fiber. I think it's uh, duck cloth, you can find it. It goes on top. And then here's these new insulation boards. Oh man, I got real lucky. If you are running eight frame equipment and you build your lids to the dimensions that I did, it, it works out perfect. The boxes are 14 inches wide. I made the lids 16 inches wide. Give me two inches. Front to back, they're approximately, well, they're 19 and whatever, but 20 inches. We'll just call it 20. I made the, the lids 24 inches long. So when you cut that insulation, you just cut it in half and it just friction fits right in there. So these are just gonna go right on top. Put a brick up there. You know, sometimes it's all right to get lucky. I didn't even plan this out. You know, I, I did the lids, just thinking I need a little bit of extra space on the front and back and sides. And it works perfect for the rock wool insulation, or sometimes it's called mineral wool, but this is gonna be great. I'll report back and let you know how it's working and, but I'm just tickled that this all worked out. Anyways, be kind to your bees and we'll see you next time.